What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for y'all and as you can see by the title of today's video, I did do a home port and polish on my intake manifold. This is the manifold that came off of my other motor that I have back here. I'm not going to show y'all that, but this is the manifold, the upper and lower and the throttle body and oh yeah, before I get this thing started, what was it? Oh, on this part of the manifold, since it was sitting back there for so long, you can see like right here, the bolt stripped in here. So like it broke off and I had to use an easy out to get it out. And so that hole isn't like the other ones. And if you could tell up in here, I didn't really do a good job of polishing this cause I didn't polish it. But I was just worried about the porting of it, of just this one. The rest of it, I did port and polish right. But this, I did not really care about it really I just got rid of the lip that was right here in order to pour and polish these things I used this Grim Speed manifold spacer and it's like not that thick it's like a regular gasket but all I did was put this on here and as you can see they match up quite nicely at first I'm gonna insert a picture on the screen of how it was and that was definitely a no-go so I wanted to do this because I didn't want to spend any money at the moment but i did have these laying back there so i figured why not just give it a try but now i'm about to walk out here in the heat which is why i have this bandana on i haven't worn this in a while it's just gonna be used for catching sweat pretty much because i'm about to install these things on dawn right here and hopefully one of these days gc tuner ships me my shipment of hood vents because i did order carbon fiber ones because these, I mean, the black looks very good if you ask me, but as you can see, like, it's not in the best shape. I did plan on getting rid of those because, like, I don't know, I just didn't feel like redoing it. I could have redid it, but I ordered them, like, in June and still waiting on that shipment. How did that fish grease? so many times that I showed y'all how to take this intake off and all of this stuff so I'm not gonna actually show y'all how to take that off just know I have to take that stuff off I have to take this top and up manifold off and I showed y'all that whenever I did install my manifold riser from 3.8 performance shout out to y'all yeah I think I'm about to go ahead and get to moving on with this so let me go ahead and get the time lapse going get these intakes off so I can put the new ones on there Don't worry, I gently placed it on the ground. I didn't mess up my little good paint job right here. But look at this. Look at that parting job I did. I'm no professional or anything, but look at these. Like I said, I did use gasket matching for this port job that I did. But I think I'm pretty proud of myself. But I have the upper manifold off. Now I just need to go ahead and take the lower manifold off. Usually what you're going to want to do at this point is tape over this and blow off all this debris and stuff. But I don't have an air blower so I'm not really going to worry about that. I'm just going to be a little careful. Hopefully I don't drop anything in these runners. But if I do, y'all will hear about that on the next episode. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and continue with this intake removal so I can finish this up real quick. I just removed the first bolt which was right here. But just for y'all who don't know, to remove this is literally just these eight bolts. One, two, three, four. And then there are four on this side. And it's pretty easy. They're Allen bolts. So uh, I'm just using this right here. My Makita with an extension and an Allen adapter thing or tool right here. And uh, I'm actually not sure what size it is because it is rusted or whatever. But this is what I'm using. 
And so now, let me go ahead and take these other seven off and then I'll be done with that and ready to install everything. I also forgot to mention, there is this little clip right here that you're gonna need to take off with like some pliers or something. If it can focus in right here, this little clip. Alright, so here's the part when I ask y'all for some guidance. Let me show y'all this. Inside of my intake runners, look at the valves. Yeah, that's pretty nasty and gunked up. But uh, what would be one of the best methods for me to go by and cleaning these things? Like, I'm pretty sure there are some products or something for me to do this myself. But if not, like, I don't know. Because this is my first time even looking in here. And they look pretty gunked up because this is a GDI engine. And so the gas is getting pumped directly into the cylinder well or cylinder. Why can't I remember the name of that? But yeah, it's not getting pumped on top of the valve. So how do I clean this? I would really like to clean this like soon because... I don't want my car, uh, you know, detonating any more than it's supposed to. I'm not sure exactly what that's going to do, but I don't want to take any chances with that. But since I have all of this off, now it's time for me to install the new ones. This is the old one. This is the old one. This is the new one. And the other new one is somewhere chilling over there. Yeah, chilling right there with the throttle by it. But let me go ahead and install this real quick. Earlier, they had a bunch of goats all over here. Now, you know what? These people with these animals and these goats and stuff need to just go on here about their business. I ain't no baker with this country. But now we just finished up with the car and she's looking real good under here for the most part, other than these loose little fuzzies that's going on. But don't worry about that. I'm not going to worry about it. But we're about to get a first start up and a reaction to how this thing starts up. Fingers crossed that it does start up and doesn't anything happen, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to feel too much of a difference just because I do have to do some of my intake. Oh, yeah, before I start it up, let me tell you all about that. Um, Sooner or later, probably sometime this week, I am going to be doing something with this intake. Because as you, as you can see, I do have the short RAM intake from Engine, which is no bueno in my book. Because the hot air does seem to get sucked in from like all back here and all that hot air and I don't even know how this little bit of air gets in through here. So what I'm going to try to do is customize this thing to get some better airflow in there, some cooler airflow and hopefully some better horsepower. startup <laughs> yeah that was a strong startup but I don't think I hear anything out of the ordinary but let's pull this thing out of the garage this cooling on the ground for but I forgot I did have to remove coolant lines for the throttle body and it just dripped all the way around there but that's nothing but I'm gonna go ahead and get a little little short little drive in and I might do a pull once the car warms up but I don't know y'all tell me all right so my initial impressions
land. Now I'm gonna have this big truck in front of me. Oh well. Just me, or oh, it feels the same. My throttle response feels a little bit more crisp. Not much to make a difference, though. I don't know. I mean, I'm just glad I didn't spend any money on this, but I don't know. <laughs> I just pulled back up. I got coolant everywhere. And I realized what it is. Remember this coolant hose? I didn't put it back on. Look how stupid I am, bro. Dang. <laughs> I wonder how much shot out of you. But I'm about to go ahead and put that, put that back on. I'm about to end this video right here because I'm being stupid right now. Dang, I was wondering why my car started steaming like that. <laughs> oh well, we all make mistakes. But if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave some positive vibes in the comment section below. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Remember, if you're unsubscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because like I said, I will be doing something with this intake right here. So just remember that that might be coming up soon. But as always, remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank y'all for watching.